Good morning. We've come for a walk down to Point Danger here in Torquay and I think we're feeling a little bit optimistic. It is September, but it was so sunny and warm sitting in the courtyard at the house that we're staying at that we came out just in t-shirts and shorts. <gasps> September, Victoria, Surf Coast, t-shirts and shorts. What are we thinking? We have forgotten so fast how cold it is. So I'm just standing here out of the wind, checking out the beautiful view of Cozy Corner here in Torquay. So it looks gorgeous, doesn't it? But let me tell you, it's bloody cold. Okay, what have we been doing? Well, you might recall we've been down at Fairhaven. Uh, so we've just left there. That was a beautiful two weeks that we've got to stay down at Lee's parents' place while they were up in Queensland getting their um, a winter fix of sun. We got to stay down there and explore a little bit. We have now moved into back into our hometown of Torquay. We've got to stay with Matt and Sh Michelle uh, and the uh, Hargraves family for the last uh, few uh, the last week and a bit. And now we're at our ex uh, we're at our neighbour's house. Chris and Joe have been lucky enough to coincide a barley trip um, where they're going away for a month and we're house sitting. So that's what we're up to. Uh, hopefully a bit of a surf next week, maybe uh, get get myself wet back in the hometown again. Uh, but looking forward to. Uh, getting the caravan back out on the road. Well, it's been great being back in our hometown, but we're missing life on the road. Um, the car has gone off to Aikman Engineering for them to try and work out some solutions to the problems that we're having with the RAM. Um, and hopefully in the next week or two, we've got some progress reports on that. Um, we've got the combi back. Um, so we've been cutting some laps in the combi. Uh, thanks to the team at Euro Panels and Frankie Sakura for putting, uh, putting the engine back together and for Frankie, uh, for uh, Jake and Carly and their team to put the combi back together from some little repairs that that needed to be done whilst we're away and so that coincided with um, uh, the ram not being available and we got that back a bit sooner than what we thought we were going to do and so we've been cruising around in that. We've been off to Melbourne to see our little granddaughter Rio um, which has been absolutely um, an absolutely amazing part to, to do. Um, our travelling as we've said before is the hard part is leaving our family and friends and certainly our granddaughter um, so to spend some more quality time with her has been absolutely amazing so those cuddles and kisses are priceless so we've been getting our cup filled up with all of those yeah so as Daz said we've been catching up with lots of people from home and we've still got so many more to see it's really funny being here uh, and not working because everyone else is working so we still really only have the weekends to catch up with people so um <laughs> what's he doing behind me <laughs> so yeah so we've still got a lot of people to catch up with and we're trying to slot them in and we are so super keen to get back out on the road <laughs> just making sure you're not doing anything inappropriate behind me there um yeah, super keen to get back out on the road. We miss being in the caravan. There's something really weird about being inside a house. You feel a little bit, mm, I don't know, not claustrophobic, but a little bit like overwhelmed, trapped. I don't know, it's like being outside in the caravan just feels like freedom. So we're really keen to get back out in the van and get going. We are doing all of those jobs that you do um, when you're, I'll call it land-based. So dentist checks, optometrist, doctor's appointments. Uh, we haven't been to the vet yet, but we've been to the dog groomer. Yeah, Daz had a nasty, nasty cut out there the other day. Um, so yeah, getting all of those jobs done, 
that you uh, don't normally get time to do when you're on the road so that when we head off again hopefully in about three or four weeks uh, we'll just be back into living on the road mode so the plan at this stage is to head up to the Murray River and explore there before we head west again so I'm about to start the 3 a.m. Uh, logging on to Parks WA to try and book my Ningaloo sites for uh, WA next we year. Are coming back at you. Yeah, can't wait. So look, that's just a really quick update to let you know where we're at. We haven't been able to do any other episodes because the laptop broke down as well. So it's under warranty, it's in, in getting fixed. So we won't have a laptop for a couple of days, a couple of weeks. Uh, so there's no more episodes coming out. So this is it. Uh, so on that note, hey, hope you liked this one. I mean, it was such a good video, wasn't it? To all the crew who just recently started to follow us, thank you so much. Thank you for all your kind words. Thank you for all your offers of help and support. Um, it's really humbled us actually. Um, and so it's been funny like um, how all of a sudden there was just a big upturn in our, uh, in our followers and, and our watch hours and it's uh, sort of inspired us to maybe keep going for a little bit longer. Um, but it's been cool actually, it's been really, really cool. So Lee's, Lee's loving doing her work um, and it's sort of become a new, new little uh, hobby for her and she's, she's just absolutely thriving on it and she's improving out of sight. I think you'll um, you have to agree there's been some massive changes in the quality of her, of her editing and producing so she's done a great job. So well done babe. Yeah, thanks. This one may not be so good because we're just filming it on the iPhone walking in the wind so the quality might not be so good. But, but that's our mantra. Yeah. We're, we're raw. We're real. We're raw. And we're raw. And we are salty! salty.